So we had a really big turnout for this. Two full tables. We've got Rich, Brian, Jim, Oscar, Jet over there, Santiago. <laughs> you out there. We've got Rudy, Sandra, Oscar, two, Donna, Tia. And we've also got the former champion in the back there. Oscar ver from the last event. Video. It's broma. <laughs> and my joke just played <laughs> I just asked her if I could see her cards and she showed me. Rich and Cabo versus Oscar won the champ from last event. And we've got a King Jack offsuit. Right now he's has not hit anything. He bets 30 bucks. Oscar is thinking about it. Looks like he's counting, doing some mathematics and looking at some kulos and deciding to fold. Nice betting there by Richie Rich. Takes Richie and Cabo. Takes down 60 bucks. Well, here we go. Rich and Cabo versus BK Cabo. BK with the eight, nine diamonds versus King Ace offsuit. $10 bets all around. So BK has flopped three of a kind. He, Chad throws out a bet of 40. BK calls 40. Chad calls all in. BK calls and BK takes it down. Three of a kind. Ricardo, you're out of here, brother. BK, not only is he handsome, also very good at cards. Oscar showing pocket aces. BK's got diamonds, seven, nine, and hits the full house, taking out the former champion, Oscar. He is not happy about that. But BK, on the other hand, is extremely happy. Let's go. Now we have another couple of strong players here. Brian with a Jack nine offsuit and Chet Miller winning the hand here with the King Queen. We've got Brian with, looks like, King Seven Corazones. And we've got Chet Miller with two pair right off the turn. And he calls, bets 100. Brian calls. 500 pot and the, we have the river with an eight, which really helps no one. Check, he bets $10 and Chet's gonna win with two pair. Chet seems to be a very good player and seems to be becoming the chip leader. And that he leaves us like with just two players left. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I thought. 
Chef Miller, <laughs> and of course, the famous BK Cabo, a.k.a. Brandon Kessler, a.k.a. A bad, Bad Man, a.k.a. your mom's fantasy and your dad's wannabe. Pot's now at 400. I'll let the cards are so small I can barely see them, but I call all in and Chet folds wisely. One, two, three. Two massage for the little bit. Okay, that's 50. Chet raises. BK calls. The flop jack. 6-8. BK throws in 100. Chet typically will raise here, it seems like. He has a strategy of playing pretty aggressive one-on-one, -on -one, which works for him beautifully, and he takes it down. And he shows the queens, no bluff in there. Salud. Salud. That goes over there. That's right. I'm not even going to lie. UK is getting massaged by a nice gentleman there. Rudy helping him out. All right, we've got a 500 pot. Here is the flop. Again, the cards are so small, I just can't see them. All in. BK calls all in. And Chet throws it away. BK probably should have bet a little bit less there. Maybe he could have got a win. $300 pot. We've got a three, jack, five. No color. What do you have? Just for the camera. What do I have? Like how many chips? And this I worked for cards? me before. Just so I'm trying it one more Show time just to see. Uh, two cards. <laughs> and I've got Chet really thinking about it. He's wondering what it the hell once. is going on here. <laughs> Let it go. And I throw it away. You know, I was. It's been a while since I have played one-on-one -on -one odds up poker and it is a different kind of game. You definitely need to be aggressive and you can play a lot weaker hands typically. You at least need to show that you'll play some weak hands and then set them up for a bigger hand. And has it looks to be the nut straight. Check it. He raises three. When is the mean negro? Very unwise, considering Chet's got the nuts, and this is, I am dead in the wind, Chet Miller takes it down, the new Freedom Fight Champion, and BK is not taking silver home, it's first or nothing, congratulations to how do you feel right now? I feel great. You remember this is for the kids, right? For the kids, some for the kids. Yeah, I can some see. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming out. We had another successful event, raised a bunch of money for the kids. Again, if you guys know somebody who needs help, that needs sponsorship, somebody that would like to join a gym here in town, or maybe you own a gym, you can go ahead and contact me, WhatsApp, Instagram, and of course, anything else you guys need. In Cabo San Lucas, of course, me and my whole team can help you. BK Cabo, Cabo One, thank you guys so much much seriously this is a, a very important event see you on the next video cabo one real estate mafia hey you know what
<laughs> just want to explain a little bit more about the charity that we're doing freedom fight we talk a lot about the texas hold'em but the charity is what's really important fighting has given me everything in my life it allowed me to leave the small town that i'm from in kelso washington it allowed me to travel the world to see all of southeast asia europe of course here in mexico really has given me a lot I feel it's my duty to give back and I wanna help as many kids as I can. And of course, with your guys' help, I think we can do a lot of good. And it's not just about you know teaching self-defense. Of course, this is great. I think it's a lot more to do with setting goals and achieving those goals, hard work, consistency, because to become good at any of these sports, you're going to need consistency. So some of these kids don't have any consistency in their life. They don't have a dad or they don't have a mom and they don't have hope. I mean, that's probably the biggest thing, especially being a kid that I just remember when I was a kid, that's all I really had was hope. Hope and dream of doing something cool, something great. That can take a person very far, especially if you truly believe it. And when you see other kids that do it, other people that do it. And so our goal is to raise enough money to sponsor two kids at least full time, meaning giving them housing, training, food, protein, money for new equipment, and everything full-time for one year. And we're gonna have the tryouts in December. On top of that, we wanna sponsor as many kids as we can with memberships, if they need gloves, any of this kind of stuff. And if you guys know anybody that needs help, contact me. Now this isn't for just, you know, so if you're a kid and you've already got the means to do it, well then do it. I mean, it's a, this life is on you. But if you don't have the means to do it, then contact me. Si tú conoces una persona, una joven, él quiere entrenar de MMA, de box, de jiu-jitsu, de lucha, todos los deportes de combativo, solo escríbeme en Insta o en Insta es mejor o en WhatsApp, está bien, y yo puedo ayudarte, ayudarte, ayudarle, no importa, pero si solo tú necesitas, quieren aprender, pero no quieres como solo probar un poquito una semana, no. Yo quiero gente que quiere trabajar, quiere aprender mucho porque es la única opción o porque ellos tienen en, en su corazón, ¿entiendes? Si tú quieres entrenar de MMA, de box, de Jiu Jitsu, márqueme, llámame y yo puedo ayudarte. I mean, the reason I got started in this was because I seen a kid from my town doing it. Benji Raddick. I was like, whoa, this, this kid can do it? He's from our town? Maybe I can do it. I didn't make it as far as he did. I had a different road. It was still a fun road and it still taught me a lot. You know, all those life lessons I don't think could be learned any other way. And I wouldn't be the man that I am today if it wasn't for that road, that journey that I had taken.